Here we are, right before Shavuos, the most important day that ever was, that ever, ever will be. The question is, we know that three days before Shavuos, Shloshim Mehagbola, we call them, three days of preparation for Shavuos. At the time, the Jews were in the Midbar, ready to accept the Torah in Mount Sinai, Har Sinai. We understand they needed preparation. After all, God's coming down on Har Sinai, giving them the Torah, the Holy Torah. They have to prepare themselves for this great occasion. But now, we have the Torah already. So it's just a remembrance of what happened then. Why do we have to have days of preparation? The question is really a big mistake that people could make to think that a Jewish holiday is just a remembrance of what happened. A Jewish holiday is a repetition of what happened. Whatever happened then, in a certain sense, it's happening the same way when we celebrate every holiday, every Chag, every Yom Tov. That means that this Shavuos, God will come down to the earth, to the Jewish people, and give them Kedusha and Tahara, give them a great holiness and uh, uplift them to higher heights of spirituality, to Ruchnius, than they were before. And therefore, we have to have preparation. The more we pre prepare ourselves for this great day of Shavuos, the more we'll be able to feel, accept, become elevated by Hashem's greatness and His holiness that He wants to give to us. How do we prepare ourselves? we have to realize that Hashem is perfect. His midas are perfect. We have to perfect our midas to think to ourselves. If we want to accept this greatness of Shavuos, we have to look at our midas and say, are we controlling our anger like we should? Are we controlling our desires like we should? How do we act in our house to our family, to our, to our spouses, to our children, to our parents? If we are calm, cool, and not angry, and uh, are we uh, controlling uh, ourselves in different ways of not being lazy? All the different type of, of, of midas, zrizas. Are we too desirous? Are we looking too much for worldly things? Are we interested in money? That's the main purpose in life, like many people. So these are the things we have to think about when it comes for shvus. If we want to accept and get from God the real Hashpa, uh, the uh, the uplifting we, we want that he wants to give us. It's the more we prepare ourselves in these three days, the more we'll be able to get close to him on Shavuos. And not only on Shavuos, by the way. Whenever we sit down to study Torah, which is also a uh, same type of way that he revealed himself on Har Sinai. Every time we learn Torah, he's revealing himself to us. The knowledge of Torah is God's knowledge. So if we study Torah, we have to also think to ourselves, examine ourselves, are we worthy of God's Torah? Are we watching our midas? Are we taking care to control ourselves when we have to control ourselves in all the different ways we mentioned before and in many other ways to make ourselves worthy of the holiness of the Torah? So this is something that uh, we can understand why the Torah didn't say why we're celebrating Shavuos. It just said, make a, have a holiday. We happen to figure out it's the time of the give, giving of the Torah. Well, why didn't the Torah tell us what happened on, on, on this day? And the reason is by giving the commentaries because God wants us to realize all the time, the whole year, we're accepting the Torah, not only in Shavuos. And we have to prepare ourselves just like we prepare ourselves in Shavuos to accept the Torah in its full entirety the same way a whole year, when it comes to studying Torah, we have to be worthy of it, lift ourselves up to be able to accept and receive the holiness of the Torah, the completeness of the Torah. So I wish all of you that uh, you'll have a very good Shabbos, a very uplifting Shavuos, meaningful Shavuos. We should be able to prepare ourselves in the right way and we should be able to be close to Hashem to the highest extent possible for us to be. Call to everybody, all the best.